Chairman, I'll go first. Potter. Yeah, I'm last alphabetically, I'll go first. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. First of all, you know, I've, I've spoken in different forms dealing with immigration, and I'm, I'm a proud immigrant. I came as an immigrant to this country when I was 12 years old. I was fortunate my dad came, uh, decided to go study at Georgia Tech in the late 50s. Back then, you could actually walk into immigration, fill out a form, and become a resident. There was no waiting period, so he was a resident. By the time I was born, he was a U.S. citizen. You know, and, and I'll, I'll try to give you a little different perspective. I've been an immigrant advocate, and I'll tell you why I was an immigrant advocate, because from the moment I was born until the day I got to the United States, <clears throat> my dad told me that this was the greatest country on earth. I believe that to my very core. And I get emotional about this because it's, it's important for all of you to see what immigrants see. You know, <clears throat> I'm an American by choice. Most of you, all of you, are probably uh, Americans just because you were born here. You were lucky. You're lucky to live in a country where people are dying to get in, not dying to get out. And I think, I think that's important as we head into this debate because I think what you've heard from folks who advocate for immigrants is that you know, the issues we talk about felons and people breaking the law, I think there's no dispute, no argument from anybody that people need to abide by the law. That if you've committed a felony, a violent act, you should be in jail and incarcerated. But let's also look at the issue of Im illegal immigration, or as I call it, undocumented immigrants. You know, they, greed is not a motivator. Greed is not a motivator. They come in because we have done as a country a great job of selling America to the rest of the world. We go around saying that we are the greatest nation on earth, because we are. And you know what? People around the world have bought into that. So it's the second that they want to have a better life, and there's not, I mean, it's human nature for all of us to want a better life for ourselves, for our families. So they hear this great place called America. And if somebody over here says, look, you know, you come here, you can find a job, they'll take it. You know, so this whole immigration debate really wasn't started by immigrants. This really was started by people here in the United States offering these immigrants opportunities. Those were the people who started violating the law. Understand that there was a demand and not, there was a demand for jobs and these people filled that supply. So let me just, you know, and I'll try to wrap up, Chairman, because I know you're under time constraints. Uh, but real quick, a couple of things. Number one, this immigration debate, something that's made me very uncomfortable, sometimes it has a very anti-Hispanic undertone. And I think that needs to end. If we're going to have a serious debate about immigration, let's talk about our immigration reform in this country, and it should be comprehensive. Number two, I'm insulted that the word terrorism has been dragged into this debate. I mean, we, we, the, one of the, the, the gentlemen, I believe, from FDLE testified that one of the pilots was on a tourist visa. I don't know the number of people who come to this great state with tourist visas, but I don't think we should treat all of them the same way uh, we would treat this, 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 this terrorist. These are immigrants, not terrorists. And, I don't, and I'm offended by the very fact that we somehow dra dra dragged that into, um, into this debate. So I hope as we move forward on this issue that we're very clear that what we need to do is do what's right for us, something that 20 years from now we don't look back and say, you know what, it was an embarrassing point in our history. Let's act up to the, what we really are. We are the greatest country on earth, and we need to live up to that spirit. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Representative Zapata, thank you.